After almost a month of exchanges, discussions, and political negotiations, more than 600 representatives of various sectors of the Gabonese society meeting in Libreville, we officially hand over the final report of the conclusions of the Inclusive National Dialogue to President Olingi Gema on Tuesday, April 30. The official report will take into account the interests of the more than 38,000 proposals collected before the National Dialogue. The report will summarize the practical solutions proposed by various national socio-political actors to build a modern Gabon in years to come. After 50 years in power under the Bongo family, the participants in this dialogue wanted to avoid history repeating itself. Gabon must not be subjected to life presidencies tampering with the constitution or pressure on the legislative and judicial powers. According to the spokesman for this dialogue, Jean Bernard Esoko, the conference is scheduled to end on April 30, 2024, and to be hosted by the Presidency of the Republic of Gabon. The holding of the dialogue was a priority for Gabon's transitional government in order to lay a lasting foundation for the credible restoration of national institutions after the overthrow of the Bongo family on August 30, 2023, in what the Gabonese call a coup d'état. However, all these measures are only recommendations. They are therefore not binding, as the national dialogue is not sovereign in nature. The transitional government is therefore not obliged to apply them, even if it seems impossible to ignore these demands.